If you do performance marketing, budget management is one of your most important tasks. Ad costs can change daily based on supply and demand, so staying on top of your spend can be a challenge. Luckily, you can manage your ad budgets effectively with good budget pacing tools. Hello, and welcome to this Supermetrics video about budget pacing in Google Sheets. In this video, we'll show you how to prepare a fully automated budget pacing sheet using the Supermetrics add-on and Google Sheets functions. I'm Alex, and I'm your host for this video. Before jumping into Sheets, I shortly want to discuss why budget pacing is so important overall. So why do you need budget pacing? As mentioned, ad costs do change daily based on supply and demand. You'll likely also have campaigns running in several channels, some always on while others are not. This makes costs harder to predict and getting an overall picture becomes challenging. Most advertisers also work with a set budget, meaning you have a number you need to hit but not go over. You don't want to underspend or overspend. Overspending is bad because you're spending money you don't have. For agencies, overspending deteriorates customer trust and might risk customer relationships altogether. On the other hand, underspending is not good either as it means leaving money on the table and missing out on results. It can also lead to your ad budget decreasing over time as it can be a sign that there isn't a need for that budget. So ideally, you want to spend the full ad budget without going over. Ultimately, your budget pacing needs to depend on a few factors, namely what type of budget you're working with, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. You'll also need to consider what level of detail you're looking for. Is it enough to get an overall view of all channels combined, or do you want the budget broken down by channel or even by campaign? Lastly, what type of predictions will help you optimize your budget the best? As budget pacing needs differ for every advertiser, we can only cover some use cases here. For this video, we've decided to show you how to do channel and overall budget pacing with a monthly budget, as it's a common use case. However, a lot of the elements here can be used for other pacings as well. Now that we understand why budget pacing is so important, let's take a look at how we do budget pacing at Supermetrics. Here's our performance marketing lead, Sophie, walking us through it. Hi, I'm Sophie, and let's look at this budget pacing demo that we have for Google Sheets here. We're gonna build a fully automated sheet, and the only thing you'll ever need to do is fill out the monthly budget by channel, which I've already set here in the blue area. So first we're gonna set up our Supermetrics queries with the Supermetrics add-on. I'm gonna show you how to do that here with our Meta or Facebook ads data. So here you'll go to the extension and select your Supermetrics extension and click launch sidebar. Then we're gonna select our logins and here I already have mine set up. So I'm gonna click on my own logins. I'm gonna select the Supermetrics ad account. Then we need to set up how much data we wanna bring in from what time. And here I've selected six months and you can of course select a longer period. Then we're gonna select our metrics and dimensions. So this is gonna be a really simple query. So we select our amount spent, which is our ad cost metric here. And that's the only metric we want. So then we go to dimensions and we set up our dimension, which is date and check that we'll be bringing, having enough rows selected so that it won't limit us once we start bringing in more data. Then we can set some filters if you want, but here I'm not gonna do that. And then in the options, I'm going to select a few options. So first I'm going to use replace blank metric values with zeros so that even if we don't have cost for a day, we can use that. Then we're going to show all time values. Similarly, to show that even if we don't have cost for a day, then we're going to use combine new results with old to make the recurring query a bit lighter. And then we're going to use the keep previous results on refresh error so that if there's some issue with meta or super metrics, you'll get your data. Then we click get data to table and wait for it to bring it in. It should be very quickly as it's a light query and then we can check that we've gotten all the data from every day. You should have a long list of dates and costs associated with that date. Then once we have set up all our queries, we should set up our scheduled refresh to bring in the newest data every day. So here I'm gonna select refresh daily and select uh, 1 a.m. so that it will be updated once the day has finished and we'll have uh, all the newest data up until the yesterday. Once you've set up all your channel queries and you've set up your scheduled refresh, 
you can close the Supermetrics sidebar as the rest will just be using different Google Sheets functions to calculate different numbers for us. A lot of the functions we'll need for this to be fully automated are going to be functions related to dates. And I've created a cheat sheet here so you can see kind of what types of functions we use and how those used together will calculate different numbers for us. So first what we're going to do is bring in month to date spend from one of our ad channels here. We're going to use Meta again as an example. So what we want to do is we write some ifs, then First, we are going to select what values we want to sum, which is the meta B column here, where the cost values are. Then we're going to select the range that the criterions are in, meaning that where the dates are, that we, so we can limit that it will only sum uh, for the current month. And then we need to set it so that it only takes into account uh, dates that are larger than last month's last day and some numbers that are smaller than uh, today meaning that it ends until yesterday. Once we press enter here, we should get the month to date spend. Then the next field is the month lapsed. And here we're just going to calculate month lapsed, as you can see in the cheat sheet formula. So that means that we need to calculate how many days has passed up until yesterday of the month, how many days there is in the month and divide those. And once we've done that, we can see that we've now 71% uh, into the month already. Then we need to calculate how much we've spent of the monthly budget. And that's just an easy division of month to date spend uh, divided by monthly budget. And then we want to do a projection to see that if we continue to spend on the pace that we've spent now, how much will we have spent by the end of this month and that we can do by building a similar formula to the month elapsed formula. So we divide the month to date spend by how many days have already passed and then take that times how many days there are in the month. Then once we've calculated that, we can see how we should project how much of the budget we'll like be able to spend if we continue on that pace. So that's again, just divided the projected spend by the monthly budget. Then, however, sometimes monthly numbers change so slowly, especially towards the end of the month, that it's hard to know if how the most recent changes will show up in the budget. So that's why I've also here created some shorter term numbers. So first one that we're going to use is the last seven days. And here, similarly to the month to date spend, we're going to use uh, some ifs function to calculate or bring in the last seven days of spend. We're going to sum uh, from the meta B column and we're going to use the A column to define that we only want data from yesterday and then up until seven days ago, which here is we use the larger or equal to indicate that we actually want to take the last, the seventh day also into account. Then we want to calculate what the ideal seven day budget pace should be with the monthly budget. So here we want to split the monthly budget by how many days they are in the month and then take that by seven to get an average of how much we should be spending within seven days. And then once we've got that number, we can divide the current spend with the seven day budget pace and see what the pace actually is. Then lastly, since we might want to sometimes look at spend even from the last day. I've also put here a field for yesterday. Instead of some ifs, this time we're going to use VLOOKUP. So this is a bit of a simpler formula and have it look up uh, yesterday. So that's why we use the today minus one. Then we're going to have it look in the meta AB columns. And as cost is in the second column, we put two here. And as we want it to be an exact value, we write false as the last value. And then similarly to what we did for the last seven days, we're going to calculate what this daily spend should be based on the monthly budget. And that's a very similar formula to the seven day. And then we're going to compare those two to be able to see if we're on pace or not. Now, once we have this done for one channel, we can just copy paste most of these formulas for the VLOOKUP and the SUMIFs we'll need to 
go in and change the source. But as we have structured them in the same way, we should just need to change the name of the sheet in the formulas. And then we can drag down those formulas that refer to the cells within this sheet. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you build a fully automated budget basing sheet. You'll find the formulas used in this video and other budget basing resources in the description of this video. Happy reporting.